Hi, John Dingwall, day three of Rockness, and I'm here with a legendary Larry Love from Alabama 3 and Aurora, the beautiful Aurora Dawn. And these guys have just totally blown it apart uh, on stage out there. Guys, how was it for you? To be honest, John, it was painful. It was um, three o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday with the Scottish young people's predilection for heavy drinking. By Sunday afternoon, the crowd are hungover to paracetamol. Yeah? But Alabama 3, in the spirit of Scotland's imbibing culture, have had the same hangovers. Wow. But we dragged ourselves like Undertakers on a three wheel hearse from the sludge of yesterday's morbidity. And we celebrated the fact that the sun is shining and it's once damn environment. Are, you gonna, are we going to hear some new material um, soon on record, if you like, to use yeah. the old terminology? Yeah, I mean, we've been, um, Alabama 3 have always embraced the fact that the music industry is imploding, and it, and it has been since, you know, we had signed a record deal in 1997, 98. God bless technology and uh, download culture for liberating musicians from the tyranny of capitalism. And in a, in a, in a kind of uh, nod to that, I mean, set up our own record label, stuff like that, and in the next probably two months there will be a tsunami wave of material we'll be doing. We'll be recording in Brixton. People like IDK with uh, Tenor Fly, Daddy Freddy, uh, Courtney Pines with Arnold Studio. But we're just very enjoying the, the uh, democracy which I think is in the music business now. Like, and bands and musicians are very much no longer tolerate uh, just the labels being John Paul George and Ringo. You know, you can experiment, you can collaborate very quickly. Now the, the band have also featured on a number of uh, soundtracks, television, movies, that sort of thing. And always, it's always kind of struck me that you guys are really perfect for kind of struck, providing a kind of soundscape yeah. uh, to two visuals. Any plans to do anything else like that? Yeah, tell them the news, babe. Well, we we're not. We're not just renowned for our being on The Simpsons, The Sopranos, going in 60 seconds of, of a while. We've also got our own film coming out. Well, Songs for Amy, where uh, we yeah, star as ourselves. I think it's a feel good film. I think everyone can connect with it. And um, maybe more than ladies. But it's like, a rom, it's like an Irish rom com, but on crack. But you know what I think? So what's not that we do crack, of course. Oh, unless you're an island, you have crack all the time. <laughs> I'm more into the Irish crack, but yeah. what's nice about the film is it's um it's feel, it's a really beautifully filmed. It's uh, is it Ben? What is his name? The guy that that the, 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 the Oscar winning. Yeah, yeah. Oscar yeah. winning. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> right, we're gonna cut that bit. But I'm gonna say it's a beautiful film and it's a film really beautifully. It's always a, a fantastic place. It's magical. Yeah. And to, to, to have the world experience that, I think here, uh, it, maybe in Europe, we're going to see it another way, but when it crosses over the waters, it's a different thing. And, and I, I'm, I've got no surprise why the film is doing well. With that element and the storyline and everything, it's, it's a really beautiful film, and I think that everyone's going to enjoy it. And Rob's amazing in it, and Nick, and myself. Well, tell me about the Julian Temple. Is it a documentary effect about a rock in it? Yeah, I mean, um I mean, it's not just, it, people have always been perennially um, surprised by a band who's been responsible for us, um, the soundtrack to a uh, series like The Sopranos. We've never been massive or big. My, um, my conjecture is that we've chosen to be below the radar, hence Julian Temple, who's, I mean, Alan McGee's kind of very, very supportive of us, kind of, and this kind of thing, what happened to this man that did and what's happened to us is that we've been, um, you know, very busy uh, developing independently our kind of aesthetic, hence Julian Temple's going, you're in the long term, um, you know, I had a good chat with him last, he said, you're in a long term strategy going back to the 14th century where artisans would work, in the, you know, back to the true good all kind of level. So, you know, so yeah, we're looking forward to that. Great stuff, well, I'm glad to see the things are moving along in terms of the the uh, visual aspect of Alabama yeah. 3 as well as music. Well, it's great to see you guys back here on your list. Thanks very much for taking the time to talk Thanks to you. Thanks for having us. Buckfest. <laughs>